Let's bring in Trump campaign press secretary now, Caroline Levitt. Caroline, great to see you tonight. Tell us a little bit about the strategy. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump has looked to go into Democratic strongholds, right. the bluest of the blue. And here it is in the Bronx. What's the strategy for the campaign for Donald Trump? Well, our strategy is to continue playing on offense. President Trump continues to dominate Joe Biden in traditional battleground states such as Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan. We are seeing that across the board. Poll after poll shows him winning. So we're going on offense in these traditionally blue Democrat states such as Minnesota, such as Virginia, New York, New Jersey. These are states that are legitimately in play. And President Trump is leading the charge by going into these longtime Democrat Democrat communities, Democrat run cities that have been run into the ground by corrupt and disgusting Democrat politicians who have made empty promises and delivered nothing but death and destruction and crime and violence. And President Trump's message of optimism, of hope, of making these cities in our country wealthy and safe and prosperous again is resonating with all Americans of all backgrounds, regardless of their race, religion, or creed. And so while we play on offense, Joe Biden and the Democrats are on defense. They are panicking. You could see it on the faces of right. everyone on CNN last night and this morning. And they know that Joe Biden is in serious trouble right now. Well, the other thing I would think, Carolyn, about going to these areas is you're going directly to the places where democratic policies have been implemented. So all the results, the real mm -hmm. world effects of those policies are most acutely felt in these neighborhoods like the Bronx. So the question is, Caroline, where do you go next? Well, there. Well, I will let President Trump announce that we will be going to to many Democrat-run cities, especially in battleground states across this country. And you're right, Will. The citizens in these cities have felt a tangible difference in their lives from President Trump's presidency to now Joe Biden's disastrous and failing presidency. And the message we hear from these residents every single time is that I'm sick and tired of being put last ahead of illegal people who do not deserve to be here in the first place. President Trump will put a Americans first. He will provide them with hope and opportunity and jobs. He will secure our southern border. He will demand law and order in our streets. Sadly for America, you have plenty of cities to choose from. You can go to Detroit. You can go to San Francisco. Sadly, mm -hmm. you can go to any number, any dozens of states across this country. Caroline, we wish you the best of luck. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for being with us tonight on Primetime. Good to see you, Will. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.